So, lots of talk last week of payments to Richard Scudamore. We mentioned it on the footy show. Um, we were hoping, hoping our football club would not participate in this action. But it looks like they have. It looks like they've given given two hundred and fifty thousand towards his uh, consultancy, not not his retirement fund, his his consultancy. Um, what are your initial thoughts on Everton being involved in this? I thought the club had denied it. I thought there was a story out while we were in the sleep out. No, that's uh, no, no, no one's denied it. No one's denied oh, okay. it. No one's denied it. Thought there was an echo. No, no, no one's denied hey. it. No, peace in the echo. Okay. No. no. Um, I, again, we said this last week, and I suppose it's still. And I've seen a lot going. I've seen it continuing. The the discussion continuing, and the argument continuing that from a business perspective and from a job evaluation perspective mm. he did his job he created untold wealth almost for these football clubs in his position of doing that job mm -hmm. now he's people will argue he was paid a salary correct people will argue that he was paid bonuses which he was mm -hmm. He's very, very, very wealthy yeah. off the back of the Premier League. You know, you're talking up upwards of thirty odd million pounds he's taken, yeah. allegedly. Um, so therefore, you know, I think any of us should love a thirty million pound yeah. ball at some yeah. stage. So from that side of it, from from the side of it where he's as he done his job, does he deserve a, a bonus? Yeah. Then those the clubs and people in that industry will say absolutely deserves a bonus, and it isn't a bonus; it's a consultancy fee for the next three years, the way they've worded it. Mm. Um, but it's hard not not to be critical on the other side of it because, like I've just said, for all of those reasons, he's took he's had a hell of a lot of money out of football. Yeah. he's made a lot of money out of it himself. Yeah, he's made the clubs money, but he's made himself very wealthy. And it's difficult. I mean, you know, we done a, a sleep out the other night to raise money for mm. homeless, you know, for a different thing, but with involved within a football capacity, yeah. I suppose. And there's grassroots football. There's no money. So when you look at it, those aspects of it, it it somewhat sticks in your throat, and it makes you think it's wrong, basically. Yeah. That's I, the longest answer ever. Probably. No, that's a, that's a fair enough answer. We've got, we've got more to talk about, and we're going to talk more about what that article did say. Um, I, I have, I don't have any issues with the man in and the sums he has earned. Yeah. People, people earn a lot in some businesses. They earn a lot of money. Mm -hmm. Those people work very hard to get to those places. They don't. They're not. There's a lot of people in the world who earn a lot of money for doing nothing and are put in positions of power because some people parachute them into positions of power almost mm. like, you know, because it means that someone's got a favourable ear and makes things happen for them. Mm. But this to me just sounds like a man who's got to the head, you know, the top of his profession and is doing, has done really, really well. I think he's done really, really well earning the clubs lots of money. Mm. I think... In a lot of ways, he has been paying Everton's bills for a long time as well, if you want to say that. Because at the end of the day, most of Everton's money comes from the Premier League, comes from those TV deals. So in those terms, again, I've got no no real issue with him in the kinds of money he earns. It's like, it's like when, you know, a football club, when people talk about people the wages footballers are on, and you say, well, hang on, what is that? How important are they to the to the game, mm. and how much money is coming in the game? So how much money do they deserve? They deserve a lot of money because there's a lot of money in the football in football. 